Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I want to talk to you today about a sensitive topic. Uh, I want to talk about why you, as an entrepreneur, are so scared to death of speaking in public or on video. Why? Why is it so scary? Why are you hesitant to do it? For those of you who love it, this is not for you. <laughs> this is for you if you have been putting off speaking, uh, don't understand why speaking can be good for your business. Maybe you're in an industry like real estate or financial planning or insurance and you don't understand how being a speaker in your business and speaking to groups is going to benefit you and get clients. Well, it is, let me tell you. I don't care what industry you're in. You could be a roofing company, but if you spoke in front of a an association meeting, how many more referrals do you think you'd get from your co, you know, home improvement companies? A lot, because they're gonna think of you first and you'll be on top of mind. So there's many reasons to become a speaker in many different industries. You don't have to sit there and show how, you know, to, to roof a, a house. You don't have to show the plans that you offer in insurance. That's not what you do in speaking. You inspire, motivate, educate, and then you can take it offline to a conversation to get people into your funnel or to get them to become a client or a customer or even get more referrals for more speaking gigs. A lot of times I speak in front of groups and people in the audience will come up after and say, I want you to speak to my group, right? And they do that online too. They see me online, they see me on a summit, they see me on a video, and then I get, they reach out to me via email or Facebook or something and hey, I want to have you on as a speaker. Great. This is the fastest path to cash. Let me tell you, it's probably the number one, well, it's not probably, it is the number one strategy that I use to get clients and make money. I would tell you that probably 95% of my annual revenue comes from being in, uh, being a speaker, either in person or virtually or on summits. People funnel through into my website eventually come to an event or a call or something like that or they'll buy something like a book and then they come to something else right but eventually that leads them into coaching my mastermind buying other programs products and services becoming a customer and what's the lifetime of your customer right so the lifetime of my customer is more like three or four or five years i have clients that stick around that long not because they aren't successful but because there's always more to do there's always more to do in your business like I'm going and learning more about how to really maximize my videos on YouTube in different places to make that a huge profit center and a lead generation center because right now it's not really doing that well mind you but I, so I have to learn I have to learn what are the new things about getting um, getting more subscribers on my YouTube getting converting people from the videos into uh, what I'm doing, how to get more attractive looking videos, right, with the cool stuff that they do these days, because I don't usually take the time to do that, frankly, but maybe it's time that I do, right? So there's always more to do as a business owner. Don't get overwhelmed by that, just learn how, right? I just take on like three or four projects a year for myself. I take three or four projects on for a year right now. I don't overload myself with 14 things to do. I do have 14 things to do right now, but they're all within like the projects that I've got going, right? So I'm doing a book launch. I did a book launch this summer. I'm doing another book with a, a bunch of other authors that I'm posting uh, for the fall. I've got two more events for the fall that I'm um, that I'm still hosting, right? My Jumpstart Your Biz in a weekend is the first weekend in November. And then I've got a Jumpstart Your Biz Online one day uh, techie workshop. So I have some projects on my plate, right? And I'm sure you do too. But that doesn't mean that you don't need to carve out a little bit of time during your week to work on the business. I do that every single week. I probably spend six to eight hours 
at least working on the business, not just with clients or in it, okay? And that doesn't include my networking events and my speaking gigs. So that's separate because those are different. So I just want you to start thinking about how you can really scale your business in a leveraged way through speaking. If you would just let go of those fears, letting go, we have to let go. We have to let go of the control. It could be control. It might not be fear. It might be control because you don't like the way you look, right? I didn't put my jewelry on today. You know, my sleeves are out. My arms are out. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I did hair and makeup, but <laughs> um, it, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares but you, okay? People want to know the raw, real you. That's who they're hiring these days. That's how they're making their buying decisions because there's probably a dozen people that do what you do and people are evaluating. What's the difference? Why you instead of these other people, right? So how are you going to stand out? We've got to stand out in this marketplace because our prospects are moving way too fast. Like you may not even still be watching this video because you've already moved on to the next thing. <laughs> I hope not. Because I hope I'm getting through to you that you want to start letting your guard down, letting that control freak out, let it go, letting go of some fear, and just do it anyways. Because years or months will fly by if you are not doing this and you are going to miss out on thousands and thousands of dollars of opportunities that are waiting for you if you just step out of your comfort zone a little bit. So. I would love to talk with you about this. If you would like to hear an audio on maybe how to get started speaking, I have a free audio that you can go download and it's at um, Jumpstart Speaker Training. I'm pretty sure that's the link. <laughs> Jumpstartspeakertraining.com. Um, it's also on my website at jumpstartyourmarketing.com under the free trainings page. Okay, so you can find it there. Uh, I would encourage you to do that. I actually have a speaker training um, program that you can walk through. And it's online and you can totally work it at your own pace. That would be something to get started on. And you can take your time to do it if you want to. But it tells you all the step by step on what to do. I have a speaker training event, but that's not till summer of 2019. So usually in the summer I do a speaker training, a uh, boot camp kind of thing. Um, so. There's all kinds of opportunities to learn how to wrap your head around speaking. I, you can come talk to me personally. I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to help you get started. I run a whole speaker meetup. If you're local to the Sacramento area, you can attend live. Or you can come to our webinar if you're not local. Okay? So you can go to sacspeaker.com, sacspeaker.com, and get to the meetup page from there or find out more information. So... <sighs> I just want to encourage you to stop holding back. Stop holding yourself back. It's self-sabotaging. It's self-sabotaging, frankly. Okay? And I'm telling you, it will make a huge difference in your business and your profits. So, all right. Enough of my rant today, but I hope to talk to you soon. And I hope to see you on stage or on video very soon. Please reach out. I want to talk to you. Okay? Have a good day, everyone.